if you could look out this window today, this studio window, I mean, it's 8.54 a.m. right here in the center of August, and it is pitch black outside. That's how big this storm is. I mean, it's a morning that is seriously low on sunshine. I don't know about you, but I rely on the light in the sky. It's always been my source of positive vibrations. When it doesn't show up, it's unlit behavior, toys with my emotions. I have to find energy in man-made light, which has changed since my days as a child. Today, everything is LED right here in the studio. Look above us. This light up here, I put it in about three, four weeks ago. LED lighting. It has changed everything for me. I've done some research, and it shows that such LED lighting intensifies our emotions. This isn't a negative. They claim that LED lighting increases our alertness, the same as the sunlight. The color of LED lighting resembles that of the sun, which doesn't seem to agree with me all the time. I mean, this page right now is being lit by man-made light but it doesn't ignite the darkness outside this studio window. Yes, I'm a spoiled child, a writing snob, pushing beyond what makes this right. Most at this time would walk away. Would you walk away from this kind of day where it is completely black outside because of this approaching storm? And the only thing that I have is this LED lighting. I'm just a spoiled child. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. It's stuff like this that I bring to you because I'm not the only one moving through these types of storms. So why not just bring it out here and talk about it? This is The Daily Mess. When God puts challenges in front of you, the G-Man isn't always about spiritual studies. There are times that your physical presence is moved in ways that test your skills as a carpenter. We were born to be builders, and too often we pay others to do it for us. See, it reminds me of spell check. We use this on our computers and smartphones all the time, spell check, and it makes so many mistakes, which is why it's so valuable that you go back and reread what spell check put into play. It's made us lazy. So as speaking into our phones while writing or texting, to physically write or type something has become a chore. And according to the experts, AIs are going to make it easier when it comes to creating words on a page without human effort. I, I feel for us. I'm a, I'm a daily writer. I've been doing this since July of 1994. I have to physically put my words on a page by way of a nib that is dipped into an inkwell and then brought to the page. We've got to reteach ourselves how to get physically involved with writing words, to be real with the moment and not, not become lazy with creative energy. If we don't use it every day, just like everything else, we're going to forget it. We've got to be activated as human beings. We've got to be able to step into a moment and be the carpenter. Yesterday, I changed the lock on my door. Seems like an easy task, right? No, we went digital. That's right. All you have to do now is tap in a number. And to physically put it in the door, did it seem simple? No, but it was because I took my time. Because I was able to step through that moment of self-doubt. Because I'm so used to hiring other people to do stuff for me that I felt like it's been my time to learn how to do it by myself. The LED lighting in this room and in my bedroom. Ah, what are you talking about? You mean I did it? Do you take the easy way out? Because like the writer said, if we don't do it every day, we're going to forget how to do it. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.